Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today is a collection update video. We've got quite a humongous selection of uh, Arrow video titles that we got in their um, summer sale. Uh, there's about 29 of them. Um, it, was, it was a pretty big purchase. It was a pretty big box coming over from the UK. But obviously it's Arrow video so you uh, know everything there is well worth the purchase and well worth your time to watch. A lot of it is some classic horror, some horror that I haven't seen that I got based on what the covers looked like. Um, so yeah, we'll get to a lot of that. We'll get to uh, all the uh, stuff there, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and do all of that. If you want more horror content, more heavy metal content, more collectibles, more video games, more everything that's in all things nerdy, um, stick around and make sure you uh, subscribe because it really helps me out. We'll get to all that right after the intro. Whatever, who gives a shit? I'm talking about video games. Uh, okay, so three, two, one. Well, welcome back from the intro. We've got 29 movies to go through. I'm going to just sort of rapid fire them because a lot of these I haven't actually seen. I just got based on the cover and how cool it looked and all of that. So we've got 29 movies to go through. Let's grab a stack here. We'll start off with uh, what we're looking at here. We've got... Clive Barker's Nightbreed. Uh, this has the uh, director's cut in it uh, and the theatrical cut and then another disc for all the extras. This one was very famously um, fucked with by the studio. Thank God we got the director's cut of it because it's a lot better. There's a lot more uh, stuff that's put back onto the release here and you can see it's got this huge list of extras. We've got commentaries, we've got the director's cut, we've got more uh, video interviews, we've got a documentary on the creature designs, alternate and deleted scenes, extended scenes, um, an exploration of the of concept artist Ralph McQuarrie, matte pa painting tests, makeup tests, you've got everything on here. This is a as close to uh, as close to definitive as you're going to get for this release unless you get the Scream Factory release, which has some a little different extras. But this one is great. Era video, you rock. Thank you for Nightbreed. Next up, we have a John Carpenter movie, one that he wrote, but he did not direct. You can see behind me, I have a bunch of John Carpenter movies, and I even cleared out a nice space for all of these other movies to get in there. We have Black Moon Rising with Tommy Lee Jones and Linda Hamilton. Uh, this one comes highly recommended. Uh, I cannot wait to watch this one. Um, all of these come with their reversible covers, just like the you know Scream Factory variant. Um, some of these, most of these are region B only, but uh, some of them are region free. Uh, Nightbreed and Black, Black Moon Rising are both region B locked. Um, next up, we have one that I had never seen uh, that looked cool. Look at this cover. It's Slugs. Um, this one just looks awesome. I don't know. I bought it based on the cover. A lot of these were really cheap. Um, at least for Arrow video releases, they were cheap. Uh, so there we got the disc. This one also with just a pile of extras. Um, you, know, you're, you're buy you know what you're buying when you buy Arrow video. You're not getting... Uh, Warner Archive crap or whatever this slugs. I'm really in interested in seeing this one Another one that I have never seen um, That looked awesome just from the cover. You're gonna hear that a lot and that is pieces This one is also region B locked um, but it you know, it's a horror movie for about I don't know 12 bucks or whatever it is from Arrow video. However much the sale was um I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't pass up a lot of these to beef up the uh, the horror collection, which is already growing into the most sizable of my collection, but you can always go out. Can't go wrong with some horror movies. Just like you cannot go wrong with Dario Argento and Deep Red, the Italian horror master here from uh, Mid-Suspiria. And it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Giallo movie. It is, uh, on the back here, it says it's the ultimate Giallo movie. Um, Deep Red, just a classic, classic of the genre. You will never forget it, just like the back here says. Wonderful disc art. Um, has the original version. This one, fantastic. Deep Red. Next up, we have one that I haven't seen that also from the cover looked awesome. We have uh, Frank Henenlotter's Brain Damage. You can check these out. 
This one, once again, I'm going to say this a lot, pile of extras here, just massive amount of extras. This one is also region B locked, so sorry for those people out there who didn't watch the video on a region free Blu-ray player, because you got to go check that out. Uh, put the card here. Uh, next up, we have one that I listened to the Rewatchables podcast on, but I haven't seen, and that is King of New York. Um, I love me some Christopher Walken. I love me some Wesley Snipes. I love me some Steve Buscemi and Lawrence Fishburne. So this one was a no-brainer, and it came with the slipcover and everything. This one just recently came out um, this year. Uh, so you could probably get the slipcover with it. You could get the 4K version. I went for just the standard because not too much of a 4K collector. Um, if I can get it in 4K, I probably won't. If I can get the Blu-ray. Um, they Live was a little different. I got that one because of the uh, extras that came with it. We've got a nice booklet, nice fat booklet here. Uh, just with some uh, essays about the film and all of that. So when you're, buying, when you're buying Arrow Video stuff, you know what you're getting. You're getting a lot of extras. You're getting a lot of... Uh, you know, extracurricular stuff here, but I can't wait to watch King of New York. I love Christopher Walken. Next up, we have a, a sequel um, that's much maligned by the uh, original uh, creator, uh, and that's Hall. Ha uh. Maybe uh, next up, we have a sequel that is uh, much maligned by the original uh, creator, and that is Howling Two. Um, this one not super great. Uh, it's it's worth watching. It's worth owning. Um, but outside of that, not, not the best sequel to a, a very good, uh, werewolf movie in the howling. It has Christopher Lee, so that sort of redeems it, but not a great movie. Um, this one gives away, uh, one of the previous ones. Uh, I love the first film in this series. I watched the second film when it was on, uh, Joe Bob's drive-in. Uh, or the last drive-in, pardon me. And uh, so I have to see the third one, and I figured, well, I might as well get Beyond Reanimator. Love me some Jeffrey Combs as Herbert West. This one seemed like it was great. This one also comes with another big-ass booklet and some great, great uh, disc art there. Let's just get this little booklet out of here. Some wonderful art here. Lots of green... But yeah, this, this one, can't wait to watch this one as well. This one is also Region B locked. Next up, we have a Kurt Russell movie that I haven't seen. Kurt Russell, if you know, I love John Carpenter because I mentioned it about five minutes ago. I also love Kurt Russell in Deep Blue. This one I haven't seen yet. Um, it, it seemed pretty, pretty awesome, pretty interesting. Uh, set right before the uh, L.A. riots, uh, before the uh, Rodney King trial. Um, so this one looked great. Um... And just, you know, Kurt Russell, sign me up. Sign me up every goddamn time. Uh, this one is also, uh, I'm going to sound like a, uh, a broken record here, but this one is region locked, so make sure you get a region-free Blu-ray player or you live in the UK. That again. Last up for this stack, we've got a good old werewolf movie in The Beast Within. Um, love, 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 love werewolf movies. Uh, love the practical effects that go into them. This one looked great. Um... And it's got, uh, you know, another big pile of extras, another uh, great artwork here on the, on the front. And, um, yeah, I, I, just can't, I just can't wait to watch this one. I love me some werewolves. Um, next stack, we'll, we'll sort of speed through this one because a lot of these I have seen. Um, what I haven't seen that looked interesting was The Annihilators. Uh, this one, a war movie from the, from the 80s in Atlanta. Um, with some some pretty good cult character actors there, and it's from Roger Corman. So, you know, you put all those together, you can't really deny a movie like The Annihilators and buy it. This one is also Region B. Next up, we've got a 90s movie that um, I had never seen that I... I love vampire movies as well as were werewolf movies, so I got uh, Vamp. And this one, another big pile of extras. This one's from the 90s, not the 80s, but um, it just caught my eye, and I uh, knew I had to have it. So one thing about the arrow cases is that if you try to close them way too fast, they get stuck, and then you can't close them. 
So uh, keep that in mind so you don't destroy them. Here's one that I have seen that is fantastic, and that is Dress to Kill from Brian De Palma with uh, Nancy Allen and Michael Caine. This one is fantastic. Um, just a great, great performance from both Michael Caine and uh, Nancy Allen in this one, and Angie, Dick Angie Dickinson. Um, Brian De Palma, one of my favorite filmmakers. Always a great movie that he makes that you can watch. Um, this one, I highly recommend Dress to Kill. Probably going to get a review of this one at some point. This one is great. Make sure you check it out. Next up, we have a topical one that's having um, a reboot, sequel, whatever, coming out this year. It's supposed to, came out, supposed to come out last year, but it's coming out this year. Everybody go and watch it because it's Candyman. This one is great. This one has the uh, immortal Tony Todd as the Candyman. It has, uh, what's her name, Virginia Madsen. Uh, and... It is uh, from a short story by Clive Barker, and as you know, uh, if you go in the mirror and you say his name uh, in the mirror, he's going to come and uh, fucking murder you. So don't be going around in mirrors saying Candyman, or else Tony Todd will come and shove that hook uh, up your ass. Uh, no, but this one's great, uh, especially if you like sort of a more atmospheric um, sort of... A horror film. Uh, it, there are some truly frightening scenes, especially ones of gore, but this one really will fuck with your head. So if you haven't seen Candyman, make sure you go see it in preparation for the new movie coming out by Nia DaCosta later this year. Here's one that I haven't seen that uh, also from the cover and from the cast, uh, it has Clue Gulliger, um, is The Initiation. Uh, I love me uh, some, some good sorority college uh, sort of slasher films here and this one fits right in with that love uh we've got the initiation and uh i do love that uh arrow does these uh reversible covers because you do get the art that they commission and then you can if you don't know what the movie's about you can check out what the back insert looks like because it's the, always the film poster um that one looks great another one from a, a horror master we have phenomena a great one in the uh, the giallo uh, weirdo Italian horror sort of camp here, and uh, this one is great if you haven't seen Phenomena. Um, it, it's 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 very very weird, but it's it's an Argento film. So if you don't like Argento's movies, you won't like this one. But if you do and you haven't seen it, make sure you go see Phenomena. This one is region B locked as well. Uh, we'll skip over this one and we'll save those two for last for this stack but for this one we've got dead end drive-in which i have never seen never heard of and um if you just take a look at the cover it's got neon and everything i i didn't know anything about this movie going in i can't wait to watch it uh from what i've seen and from what i've read about the film and seen just from the art here and everything this is uh one of my favorite things in the entire world to do is to not look at movies before I buy them because then you get sort of that old school video store feel where I don't know what this movie is I'm not going to look it up on the internet and if it's you know it's like 12 bucks or something like that um I'm that's money I'm willing to blow um next up we have a Clive Barker movie we have Rawhead Rex look at that cover just look at that and tell me you don't want to see that um Clive Barker uh short story this one uh good creature feature from the, from the looks of it um no insert wow arrow video skimped on my stupid little insert that i have 400 of but yeah the uh creature effects look great here can't wait to watch this one um hopefully it's not another one that by clive barker that got uh you know messed with by the studio last up for the stack we have one from my second film favorite filmmaker of all time we have thief with james Kahn by michael mann um this one i was holding out for the Criterion Collection release, but I figured, hey, if it's on sale here, you know, I can double dip at some point if I really want the Criterion Extras or the Criterion Packaging or anything like that. That, But this one is absolutely fantastic. It's sort of a precursor to everything that Michael Mann has done, but it also gives you a nice uh, look into his filmography for the future. A lot of his techniques and stuff like that are forged in the fire of Thief. If you haven't seen Thief, if you haven't seen Manhunter, if you haven't watched Miami Vice, uh, Heat, Last of the Mohicans, uh, go check those out because you need to as somebody who's watching a video about film here. Last up, we have one more stack, and this one's got some goodies in it. 
we've got one that I hadn't seen that uh, also from the cover, the uh, 1987's Doom Asylum. Uh, so you take one look at that cover and really, are you not going to buy it? I mean, come on. It, it's, it's, uh, it's from the uh, same director as Scared Stiff. Uh, and then there's some, some good horror uh, classic actors in here. So Doom Asylum, can't wait to watch this one and see how it actually is. But based on that cover, you can't go wrong. Next up, we have The Mutilator, another cover here that you uh, I could not pass up with a pile of extras. Um, it's another slasher movie here um, from Buddy Cooper, who I haven't heard of, but um, some great effects in this one, apparently. Two discs. Uh, this one is region-free. I believe that Thief was the last of the region B only, and then we've got our region-free or region A, B... Uh, movies here so if you live in america and you don't own a region free blu-ray player you can buy the mutilators off of arrow video's site and check it out uh, let me see if doom asylum is also region free this one is also region free so if you see this uh, you can go check out the arrow website and check out uh, doom asylum next up on the list of the marathon movie uh, collection update we've got scared stiff uh this one uh, looked pretty interesting as well. I know I'm going to say that a lot. I hadn't seen a lot of these movies. I'd much prefer to um, just buy them and give, you know, money to the creators and to Arrow Video so that they can keep making great releases like this rather than try to find them illegally or whatever. Um, so if I buy a movie and it ends up sucking, at least I've got, you know, a nice Arrow Video uh, collector item here with a bunch of extras and everything. So that's my uh, philosophy on this. Let's see... Let's go with these three, and then we'll leave those two, or these four, and then we'll leave those two for last. Next up, we've got one that was filmed and then uh, held on the shelf for four years. We've got Blood Rage, another uh, slasher I'd never seen uh, that looked uh, fucking awesome. So I love me some camp movie slashers. Um, you know, there was just Fear Street, uh, 1978. Uh, there's sort of this resurgence in slasher movie love, and I realize that's upside down. So let me make sure you guys get to see that. There's this resurgence in slasher movie love. So another camp slasher. Got to check this one out. We've got one that looked really freaking weird that has Anthony Perkins from Psycho in it. Love me some Anthony Perkins, Psycho 2 and 3. Great. We've got Crimes of Passion, a Ken Russell film. Apparently this one is freaking nuts. Um... So I can't wait, I can't wait to watch this one. This one I really, I really could not, this one I was waiting for in the mail. I'm going to try to get the uh, disc out. But yeah, this one is region AB. Could not wait to get this one in the mail so I could watch it. So I could watch all of these really because we've got enough movies for an entire army here. Um, show you these two because uh, they're pretty similar in my... Um, analysis we've got trapped alive and the prey and uh these both look pretty similar um just some good old slasher goodness these are both uh region free um so you can go check them out if you want to watch them uh here's what trapped alive looks like on the inside and here's what the prey looks like on the inside both of these look pretty interesting even if they suck whatever who cares now, finally, we've got two movies that I could not wait to get into my collection. We have um, the Tom Atkins and Bruce Campbell starring Maniac and Robert Zadar. Can't forget him. Maniac Cop. I love this one. This one from Bill Lustig is a great, great film. Sort of throws you off the scent. Uh, still got to get Maniac Cop 2, but uh, Maniac Cop 1, if you haven't seen it, uh, Another different side of Bruce Campbell than Ash Williams' uh, Wisecracking, but this one is great, especially if you haven't seen it. Or if you haven't seen it in a while, Maniac Cop, fantastic one. Last up, we've got uh, The Bride of Reanimator, the sequel to Reanimator, um, made by, uh, what's his name? Brian Usna, uh, the follow-up to Stuart Gordon's classic Reanimator. And this one I, I was waiting, I, I saw on the, drive, the last drive-in, uh, 
and just couldn't wait to get it in to my collection so that I could watch it once again. That is Bride of Reanimator. And we got through 29 movies here all through the night. There's plenty more to come. You can notice there's something up here that I haven't mentioned yet. We'll be filming something about that real soon. That was a nice gift. But we've got a humongous Arrow Video uh, collection update here. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you again real soon. Uh, happy horrors out there, everybody.